Ryan Cook of Moody Theological Seminary provides an insightful exploration into the significance of lament within the theology of worship as presented in the Old Testament, focusing specifically on its role within the context of Israel's communal expressions of faith. His discourse not only delves into the scriptural basis for lament, but also critically addresses its glaring absence in contemporary North American church practices. Cook emphasizes this gap as a profound loss, pinpointing the reluctance of modern Christian communities, particularly in some segments of North America, to integrate lament into their worship experiences. This omission, he argues, detracts from the church's spiritual depth and its ability to engage authentically with the complexities of human experience. Also, leveraging observations by German theologian Oswald Bayer, Cook accentuates a tendency within systematic theology to prematurely anticipate a happy ending, thereby glossing over the journeys marked by disorientation and struggle that are also central to biblical narratives. This critique extends to a broader reflection on secular Western culture's discomfort with lament, tied to its denial of God's role in shaping history and, by extension, a standard of justice to which one can appeal in times of distress. Moreover, through an acronym, APP TRAP, Cook skillfully outlines the structure of lament, providing a framework to understand its constituents. Address, petition, trouble, rationale, assurance, and praise. This structure reflects a journey from addressing God amidst suffering to a resolution in assurance and praise, encapsulating a dynamic process of faith. Cook thus portrays lament not as a mere expression of grief, but as a profound engagement with God's character and the historical narrative of God's people. Furthermore, the address, petition, and trouble sections, as Cook explains, initiate the lament by vocally recognizing God's presence, declaring the lamenter's struggles, and actively seeking God's intervention. These elements affirm a raw honesty in the relationship between the worshiper and the divine, where accusations of abandonment or pleas for attention are not just permitted, but seen as acts of faith themselves. This direct engagement challenges the worshiper to confront their circumstances head-on, acknowledging God's ultimate sovereignty even in the face of perceived absence. In addition, Cook dives into the rationale behind lament, appealing to God's character and the history of his faithfulness as grounds for answering present pleas. This, he suggests, solidifies the worshiper's conviction in God's unchanging nature and his covenant promises. Transitioning into assurance and praise, the lament evolves from despair to a reaffirmation of trust in God. This shift, Cook asserts, is crucial as it embodies the transformational journey of faith, from questioning God's presence in suffering to affirming his inevitable intervention and celebrating his steadfast love. Further, Cook's critique of the omission of lament in modern worship practices opens up a broader conversation on the necessity of reclaiming this form of worship. He rightly identifies lament as a vehicle through which believers can navigate the realities of a broken world, acknowledging their pain and confusion, while simultaneously affirming their hope and trust in God's redemptive power. Besides, in discussing the New Testament's perspective on lament, Cook raises compelling questions about the continuity and evolution of this form of worship. He explores how the advent of Christ and the fulfillment of the Old Covenant might influence the Christian approach to lament, considering whether it should still hold a place in the believer's life, and if so, how it might be shaped by New Testament teachings. This reflection acknowledges the continued relevance of lament, suggesting it remains a powerful form of expressing hope and clinging to God amidst adversity. Finally, Cook's call to integrate lament into both personal and communal worship practices invites a reevaluation of contemporary worship paradigms. By embracing the full spectrum of human emotion and experience reflected in the Psalms of Lament, the Church can foster a more inclusive and authentic worship experience. This approach not only enriches the spiritual life of the community, but also extends a hand to those who are struggling affirming that their voices are heard and valued within the body of Christ. In sum, Ryan Cook's exploration of lament as an integral aspect of Old Testament worship theology serves as a compelling call to the contemporary church. By engaging with lament, 
believers are invited into a deeper, more authentic relationship with God, one that embraces the full complexity of the human experience and the redemptive hope offered through faith in Christ. Cook's discourse not only educates, but also challenges and inspires reformation in worship practices to include the power and profundity of lament.